Hey everyone, Overkill's back with another video with my lovely wife, Latave, recording. Tell everybody hi. What's up, guys? We are doing a special unboxing, and it is for the newest Xbox, the Xbox Series X. We were fortunate enough to get one through GameStop, through the payment plan, because, you know, that's a lot of cash at once. Oh, show. Sure. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take the console out and check it out first. And we got decent packing from GameStop. One side wasn't, but they got these in there. We got a receipt. We got that. It's thing heavy. Like a ton of bricks. We can see Xbox Series X, 4K, 120 frames per second, one terabyte SSD on the back side. We got the main man, Master Chief, which is the main reason myself and my wife play Xbox. I mean, we play it for Gears and stuff too, but we're totally in it for Chief. We want to see his next journey. Regardless of what anybody says about the graphics or anything, we were impressed by the E3 performance. So, we'll go ahead, flip this. Well, we can go ahead and cut it right here, actually. I'll get this cut, and then I'll show it to you open. All right, we got this beast ready to open. This sucker really is heavy. How are your dreams? This is freaking amazing. You're right, power your dreams. And I'm gonna come around, see if I can get this out. It looks heavy. It is really heavy. It makes me strain just getting it. Pretty cool protectors. What's it got down in it? We have showing you how to set it up, get everything synced up, and to get the Xbox app, which is very unpopular right now. People are pissed about it. Well, people are always pissed about something. Might as well. We have the official, I'm going to call it official, Xbox HDMI cable that comes with the system. We always end up, you know what, with these HDMI's, it seems like we always have to end up changing them out because the ones that comes with the regular product, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, those seem to go quicker. They do. The little metal pieces come off in the system. They always say go reason. for um, gold plated if you guys get a chance to check if you can get you one on the secondary market. And it's power. Standard power cord. We have... First it looks silver. But we have the controller. It's got the batteries down there. Good old Duracell. There's the controller. A really nice matte finish. I like that D-pad. That D-pad is really comfortable. And it's got the share button. That's new for this generation. Everything else is the same. The same button layout. And what I always call the start and select. But it's back and button and whatever. And the sync button. And it's got a textured groove feeling on the back and it feels really nice easy change out for the batteries and there's something about an Xbox controller ever since the 360 days I didn't have a problem with the original from 20 years back but from the 360 days I've always thought that Microsoft's put out the superior controller for any console they got it when the 360 was made and they know it and they stuck with it it looks really light is it light as it looks? it look? is really light and then, of course, we have the instruction booklet. I don't want to bore you guys with Warranty. all that stuff. So, we'll close this up for a minute. And we'll get to this. What we'll do... Show a little piece I thought I felt right here. It comes loose. There we go. As you know me, I like to keep myself in good shape. We'll slide this out of the way. That is pretty cool when you look at it up close. It's the top of the Xbox. On the camera, it kind of looks 3D-ish. I don't know if it'll show up like that when you actually watch the video back, but it looks 3D-ish. That's pretty cool. Though. On here. And but the big box did too. Of course. I hope it comes across that way. The main event. 
and I knew it was black, but wow, this color that they chose is really nice. That nice matte finish. I love a matte look more than I do glossy because you don't have to worry about fingerprints as much. And once I get this out of the way, we'll get a closer look. On the bottom is a stand and it's rubberized right here. It's ventilated very well on the bottom. I'm gonna lay this down real carefully. And on the front, we see that we have the sync button and the USB port and the disk drive. And here is the Xbox on button. The sides just say Xbox. And you can stand it here too, if you prefer. Like so. Man, I like that. You like the refrigerator look? Yep, I like the fridge. Frigidaire all the so way. So when you stand it up, I'm saving the top for last, so we'll look at the back. Well, I'm done peeking at the top. And you can see it's very well ventilated on the back again. So I think people are sort of freaking out for no reason, but we see that we got the different slots here. Storage expansion, HDMI out, power, just all your typical stuff you'll need. And this is something, but I don't know how to get it loose or what it is. So I'll leave it alone so I don't <laughs> mess with the warranty. Now finally on this thing, and she keeps trying to cheat and show you uh -huh, before I can uh -huh. show you. That nice it, green if you inside. Look, it's got, I wondered if it lit up or whatever, but it's got a really nice green inside of that. When you tilt it to the side a little, you can see the green. But see when you're just looking at it head on, you can see the green better. See if I can get it to show up a little bit. Yeah, it shows up. And inside, if you look really close, is a huge fan. Yeah. Very huge. And I know it probably does still have overheating issues. All consoles do. But we it are, looks like they at least tried. We are Team Xbox. This go around. First and foremost, but we do play all consoles. It's just that we bleed green, mostly. It's not that we're super biased and we're never going to buy a PlayStation 5, because we will. It's just that this one took precedence because it's the system that we play the most and the one we like the most. So... Before we finish this up, I'm going to set this to the back where you guys can get a decent look. Put the controller with it, you know, put the hookups and, and all that there. And I want to show you what I got extra. And I was really looking forward to it. It is the Xbox Shock Blue controller, or as I call it, the Sonic the Hedgehog controller, because it's totally what it reminds me of. I saw it and I told Amy, I'm like, I gotta get this. This is like totally awesome. You can see some of the artwork on the box. Tells you a little bit about it. So, the boring stuff aside, let's open it up and look. That's a very pretty controller. And it's neat that if you look here, you can see the colors for what the buttons are supposed to be. And it has a weird textured blue to it, if you can make it out. It's hard to see on the camera, but it does. It has like a, it's mattish, but it's kind of got a shimmer to it, too. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then on the back is white. And I think that coloration scheme is what makes me think of Sonic. It is pretty. And that's pretty cool. And... You can see it with the other one. You can see what I'm talking about with the color scheme around the buttons. So we're definitely looking forward to this. This was the Xbox Series X unboxing. If you want to see some gameplay, hit up my gaming channel, Overkill48Gaming. Link will be in the description. For now, this will be it. Till next time, I bid you all farewell.